Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today we got a bunch of duct tape packs because you can do anything with duct tape. I'm just saying. So I'm not gonna waste a lot of time. I'm gonna get right into these hacks. Duct tape pack number one. I'm gonna take some duct tape and I'm gonna take a penny. I'm gonna take my leader making kit which is these pliers and this kit that come with it. And I'm gonna take some stainless steel well wire and we're gonna make us a crankbait. Now the first step, I'm gonna cut me a piece of well wire about four or five inches long, however long you want your crankbait to be. Then I'm gonna put a 90 in it. After you get your 90 in it, grab it the other direction and bend it around until that wire touches your long wire. Kinda like this. Next, we're gonna take our penny and we're gonna drill a hole in our penny. We don't want a very big hole, we just want a little bit bigger than two pieces of that wire. Know what I'm saying? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking this penny, we're gonna slide it up on this wire, we're gonna put it on both pieces of this wire. After you get it on there, then you'll take one of your little crimps and slide over both pieces of the wire and clamp it down. Even though it was pretty solid anyway, I went ahead and put me a little dab of super glue in it. You know what I'm saying? So while our super glue is drying on our penny, in our wire we're going to cut another piece off about three inches or so after you cut your piece off you want to put a 90 in it again and make you a loop just like you just got through doing after we get our 90 done and we put our little crimp on it you want to go up about an inch and put you another 90 in it but before you put your second 90 in it drop you a little sinker on there and then bend your 90 just like this is because duct tape is waterproof, but it's also very buoyant. And we're gonna need a little weight inside this lure to make it run right. Now we're gonna stick two more crimps on this thing. Then we're gonna cut it to length. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna make a 90, make a loop. Now the length you cut this thing to is gonna be how long you want your crankbait. Now that we got our loop made on the back, we're gonna slide one of these down and crimp it on there. Then we're gonna take this piece that we made right here and we're gonna crimp it on to the middle one. And what these little loops right here and right here are for is to put our hooks on because this thing might be made out of duct tape, but it's gonna to have to be solid on the inside for when we catch a fish. You can turn it either direction, crimp it on where you think the hook needs to be. I face the middle one towards the back because the line's gonna be up here and it's always gonna be pulling that direction and it going in through the back, it ain't gonna slip out if we catch a fish there. Now this penny, just in case you ain't figured it out, is to give the lure some action, kinda like a spoonbill does on your crankbait. Now next, we need to start covering this thing up with duct tape. If you got places that you need it to be thicker, you can wad up duct tape and just stick it on there and then cover it. But the main thing is to shape this thing like a crankbait. So this thing ain't perfect by no means, but I think it's gonna work. There ain't but one way to find out if this thing's gonna work. I actually have made a couple of these trying to get this right. And I mean, uh. It ain't pretty, but Cranky ain't pretty either. I don't think that's funny at all. I know the perfect place to try this out. This thing is awesome. It's like a real crankbait. Duct tape pack number two. By the way, did you know you can use duct tape for handcuffs? I done told you to stay out of my pool. I gotta go. Oh crap. I didn't know. Shut up, the police are on their way. I thought, I see other people. Why do you think you can come to my pool anytime? Cranky said. It's all right. Who? Hey, don't you drag me into your trespassing shenanigans. Duct tape pack number three. Now this here is a box of Ziploc bags. I like to use the freezer bags because I feel like they're a little bit stronger. And I like the one with the zipper on the top because it's easier to open and close. Ziploc bags are great for storing your fishing gear in. Like right here, I got some extra leaders tied and ready to go on my rods. The only thing about Ziploc bags 
is they're good for light stuff because they're kind of flimsy and they'll tear up easy. But if you take a Ziploc bag and you lay it down flat, then you get you some duct tape and you start putting it across it. Leave a little bit hanging over on each end. When you get done with the first side, fold those ends over and then start putting tape on the other side. Make sure you tape the bottom good and run tape along the sides just to clean everything up. And when you're done, you got a bag that's really tough. I mean, really tough. Believe it or not, this bag has like six pounds of sinkers in it. And it ain't even thinking about tearing up. And these zippers across the top like this are actually the strongest part of the bag. And the duct tape makes the rest of the bag strong. That's actually a good idea right there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. This thing turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Duct tape pack number four. I made a video about two years ago. It was actually among my first hack videos I ever made. Well, on that video, I took duct tape and I made some lure covers because lure covers can get pretty expensive. I think a cover like this is $5.99, but what it's for is to cover up those treble hooks so they don't get hung in everything. Well, I laid out duct tape against itself, which makes a very strong material, and I used it for my lure cover. All you gotta do is buy you a little roll of Velcro and put it around the outside, and you got a lure cover just like the ones you buy, and that's pretty dang awesome right there. You could basically make a lure cover for all your rods for the price of one or two of those lure covers. When you use duct tape on a duck, when he's quacked. Did you know duct tape was invented for the US military back in World War II? The reason they invented duct tape was to seal their ammo containers and to keep moisture out. Duct tape is very strong and it's waterproof. You may not know this, but the original name of duct tape was duct tape. I'm just saying. And the only color it came in was army green. Now later, after they come out with ammo cans that had rubber gaskets in them, they didn't need duct tape anymore. And they started using duct tape for AC duct work and changed the color to silver. Well, after it was bought and used for duct work, then they changed the name to duct tape. Hack number five. Something every boat needs on it is a first aid kit. And I've actually had first aid kits on several videos because I think they're important. Well, if you don't have a first aid kit, you should at least have some band-aids. And if you don't have no band-aids, you could take a roll of duct tape and make you a band-aid in an emergency. First thing you wanna do is cut you a strip off your duct tape. You can put that piece of duct tape on your cut to keep dirt out of it and protect it. But if you want it just like a band-aid, if you have a piece a paper towel or a napkin you can clip you off a little piece lay it on your duct tape but when you're done and you put your paper towel on it you actually have made yourself a band-aid and i mean that right there is pretty cool i'm gonna have people never buying band-aids again now just like the band-aid you could also take your scissors and some duct tape cut it into little bitty strips and you're gonna need a few of these, just like a butterfly bandage, which is basically used to hold a cut shut. So if you're out on your boat and you don't have no bandages, use you some duct tape. Duct tape pack, number six. You ever had a pair of dress shoes and they're real slick on the bottom and you almost fall down all the time? As far as that goes, there's nothing slicker than a wore out pair of Crocs. Well, if you've got slick dress shoes or wore out Crocs, you can put duct tape on the bottom because a little bit of duct tape on the bottom of a pair of wore out Crocs can save your life. I'm just saying, I'm trying to hippie. Duct tape pack number seven. Okay, let's say you got some identical rod and reels. These two rod and reels are crappy rods and they're not identical. But let's just say you got identical rod and reels. But this one back here, you got six pound test on. This one up here, you got four pound test on. And you may say, well, I can feel the difference in four and six pound tests. And you might can, but why have to feel it and guess? If I could mark these rods, I would know exactly which one had four pound tests 
and which one had six pound test. See what I'm saying? Now, these right here are catfish rods. And the thing about catfish rods is most of the time, all my catfish rods has the same size line on it. So I really don't get confused about the thickness of line on them. But catfish rods have different actions. This one here is a medium heavy, which most of my catfish rods are medium heavy. But I do like to use extra heavy rods too. And that might seem weird to some people, but I like to troll and pull planer boards when I'm fishing. And when you're pulling planer boards, if you use a light action rod, then it stays bent over the whole time. And if you use a heavy action rod, it just pulls the boards better, in my opinion. Well, if your rods all look the same like mine, instead of looking through them and seeing which ones you wanna use for planing, I use duct tape to mark my rods. That way I know which ones are for the planer boards. Hack number eight. Duct tape makes an excellent temporary patch. The key word in that statement was temporary but like i've already said this stuff is waterproof let's say you got a leak in your boat well throw some duct tape on it i know that sounds crazy but it really is a good temporary patch i got a cheap plastic cup right here right so we're gonna cut a hole in this cheap plastic cup that right there is a giant hole we're gonna take our duct tape and we're gonna patch that hole So now, we're gonna put some water in the cup. Now, I got a little drip right here that it's coming out of because I didn't get the tape on good enough. But, I mean, look at the size of that hole right there and that little drip's all you got. This trick could save your life. I mean, a hole like that would sink your boat in a hurry. Drip like that, you can get back to shore with that. I mean, that ain't no big deal. I probably ought to try again, put my duct tape on right. It ain't looking now, is it? I told you it'd work. But seriously, all jokes aside, this is a good temporary fix. Duct tape fixes everything. Duct tape pack, number nine. I did a video a couple months ago about eight things you should keep on your boat, and one of them was emergency rope. If you're ever out there and you need some rope and you ain't got some, you can make rope out of duct tape, believe it or not. Pull you off a long piece of duct tape and roll it up, and that stuff's a lot stronger than what you would think. I mean, it don't look like much, and this might seem dumb to you, but it's nice to know that you can do this in an emergency. I'm gonna tie mine to this anchor and see if it'll pick it up. Picks it up pretty dang easy. So this duct tape rope is a lot stronger than what you'd think. Oh, and by the way, this anchor was a really cool project, and if you're interested in making yourself an anchor, but you ain't got no welder, I built this whole anchor without a welder. I mean, it's really pretty simple, and it's really pretty cool. Duct tape hack number 10. Now you can also take a piece of duct tape because duct tape's waterproof. A lot of times I got my rods rigged up and there's sinkers on them. And when I transport my rods, these sinkers can beat against your rod and knock the paint off of it. But you can take a piece of duct tape and cut you off a strip, wrap it around that sinker, and then this sinker ain't gonna beat up your rod like this sinker. I mean, you can even hear the difference. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I actually did this on a hack video with shrink wrap and it did work good, but duct tape is a lot more accessible and it's cheaper in the long run. Number 11. So this next hack ain't really duct tape, okay? But I thought it was worth mentioning because it is tape. It kind of looks a lot like duct tape though. The main reason is this stuff has a backing on it. You could put some of this on your bobbers. You could put this on planer boards. You could cut you off a piece of this stuff, pull the backing off, wrap it around the tip of your rod. And that's freaking cool because now when it's dark outside, but this stuff's interesting and it has a lot of different uses. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Well, there you have it. A bunch of awesome duct tape packs. Seriously, if you like this video, then you should go check out my channel page and it'll pull up a list of videos and I'm sure you'll find something you like on there. Don't worry.
Corey? Oh, Shut up! The police are on their way! <laughs> Try not to sound too much like a <laughs> hit. <laughs> no, that's all right. That's all right. Now, I know we're supposed they to be rednecks. Right. <laughs> well, we're supposed to be rednecks anyway. What gives you the right to come? I... <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that dumb? <laughs> <laughs> There's people everywhere around here. Can't have nothing. Well, there you have it. A bunch of awesome duct tape. Cat. <laughs> I done told you to stay out of my pool. <laughs> Oreo. Kill him. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> That's a dang horse. This video is over.